I'm Sarah Fisher with Chicago Integrative Movement Specialists, and we're going to discuss sitting today because we do a lot of sitting, whether it's just at work, at home, long car rides, short car rides, plane rides, etc. I'll show you a couple different options. So we're going to start out with just regular sitting in a chair. You want to make sure that you line yourself up with the chair and then reach your hips back like you're going to sit on the far back of the chair so that you get as far forward as you can over your hips. From here, you're actually going to put your hand under your seat and pull one side out on the diagonal, this direction, and then do the same thing, pulling one side of your seat out on the other direction, on the other diagonal. What that does is help line you up so you're sitting up over the top of your sits bones with more of a neutral pelvis, allows you to have more of a neutral spine, decreasing the load and compression on your spine. As opposed to when you sit, sitting with a rounded spine, you're already curving and putting a lot more pressure onto that spine. So we stand up, sit back, pull one side out and the other, and we give ourselves that much better alignment for sitting. Now, let's say you're traveling in your car. So imagine this is my car seat. If you can, if your vehicle is not too high a profile, you're actually gonna sit with both of your legs facing the outside of the car and then swing your legs around to the inside. And then same thing, try to pull one side out, followed by the other, so that you're again sitting yourself up over the top of those sits bones and then you're ready to go.